I know that Pilot doesn't sell replacement nibs except for vanishing point nib units, but I also know that several Pilot pens have interchangeable nibs, with Metropolitan, Flumix, Prera, etc. I'd love to see a rundown of all those interchangeable nibs. I'd especially like to know about the stubber italic nibs in that lineup. Are some of them actually identical, like the Plumix Medium Italic versus the Metropolitan 1.0 millimeter stub? Or does each pen model really have its own unique set of nibs? Well, I have uh, gone above and beyond here to try to answer this question fully. I actually grabbed one of every Pilot pen that I have currently for sale, and I'm going to show you all these nibs and explain through them. So this is meant to be a very kind of comprehensive answer to this question. And the thing I will say is there are a number of other pen models that are available outside the US, and I'm not going to touch on those a whole lot because I have some experience with some of those, but I feel like that would only be confusing because there's already a lot of them that I have here. So I'm just going to focus on what I have on my site. So that said, there could be other things that could fall into this category, but I don't want to confuse you and send you on down a path that, um, that you, you know, down a, a different rabbit hole. Um, so the first one I'm going to start out with is one of my favorites, the Pilot Custom 74. Um, so um, the thing that I want to say about all of these before I really get into it here is that, you know, other than the vanishing point, Pilot really doesn't condone any of the nib swapping. So, you know, you can do it on some of these pens, and I'll try and talk you through the ones that you can do it. Um, but know that if you're doing it, you could be voiding your warranty if any problems happen, and they know you're swapping your nibs and stuff like that. If you do it wrong and cause a problem, you're going to kind of probably be on your own. That said, um, you know, please don't blame me for it. I'm just trying to empower you with information. Um, but I'm going to talk you through it and at least show you what has similar nibs. So the Pilot Custom 74, here I have it, um, actually has the same nib as the Pilot Custom Heritage 92. So it's really just kind of a piston version of the same pen, but the nib is exactly the same. The nib is friction fit inside the pen, so you can um, just pull the nib and feed right out of there on both pens and you can swap them. It doesn't have to go in in a certain direction or anything like that, but you can do it. I'm not gonna pull it out of that one because it's a little tight. This is my personal one I've done a number of times, but you can uh, theoretically do that between the two. Now they're pretty expensive pens. If you have multiples anyway, why would you really swap them between the two? That's up to you but uh, it can be done. Those two are the same. The next one we have here is the Pilot Custom 912. So this one um, looks fairly similar, and a lot of these nibs look very similar. Pilot makes all their own nibs too, by the way, which is why this is partly so confusing. If you look on here, you'll see that it is a bigger nib than a Pilot Custom 74 and a Heritage 912. Or sorry, Heritage 92. Wait, nine, 92. This is the 912. It gets really confusing, even for me. So bigger nib does not swap. It's its own thing. Now it looks kind of similar to the Pilot Custom 823, the vacuum fill one. But if you look at the 823, it's actually got a slightly bigger nib. Of course, it's gold color. That doesn't really matter. But the nib size itself is a little bit bigger. Does not swap in between these. It's its own thing. Both of these are kind of their own thing. They do not swap between any others. And in fact, the Custom 823 specifically has a line written in their you know, packaging that says, do not swap the nib or pull the nib out or avoids your warranty. So they put on that one, not a lot of other pens, but um, that's that. Here is the Pilot E95S, which is its own kind of special thing. It has an inlaid nib that is really its own thing. I do not recommend you pull these nibs out at all. Um, so that right there makes it not swappable, but it's also its own unique nib that's separate from all the others. So it does not swap. Next, we have the Pilot Falcon. So the Falcon is kind of its own special thing. It's got a you know, nib that looks like a bird beak, falcon beak, if you will. Um, it is actually the same nib as the Pilot Metal Falcon. Now, do you need to actually swap the nibs on these? Well, no, not really. You can actually swap the grip section. Um, and that's one loophole that you can kind of get. If you have both of these pens and you want to be able to swap them, you can just take your nib section. Of course, the Custom, uh, the uh, Con 70 doesn't fit on the, uh, the smaller Falcon, but there is the nib, that was, the nib unit that was on my uh, Falcon going onto my Metal Falcon. So you can do that. It's an easy way to do it, um, but it is actually the same nib on both of those, so technically that's possible, but they do not swap with any of the other Pilot nibs. 
Next, let's move along to the Pilot Justice 95. So this is a, a very interesting one, larger pen, and this is the one that has the um, bar that goes across the top, and you can actually turn this little knob. Sorry, I'm gonna try and do it in a way that you can actually see what's going on. You turn this little knob, and this bar goes down. So it, it's a, a soft nib that will give you some uh, element of flexibility and a nib variation, nib size variation as you're writing. I'm looking over to my monitor here. That's why I'm looking over here, by the way. Um, and then when you have the, so that makes it soft, and then when you turn it this way, it makes it stiffer. So that's what the H and the S are, hard and soft. So when you turn in that direction, it adjusts that. Um, I do not recommend trying to pull this nib out ever because of that bar and everything. You're just asking for trouble. I've never done it, and I wouldn't recommend that you try it either. Um, but this is its own unique nib as well. It does not swap. Okay, so that's a lot of the... Uh, not all the gold nibs, but most of the gold nibs. Actually, I'm just going to keep on going with the gold nibs. I didn't put these in any particular order. I think it was alphabetical, actually. But I'm going to keep going on it. Next one I have is the Pilot Stargazer. So the Stargazer is a little pen, and it has a nib that looks very similar to the Custom 74. If I can pull that one back out. The design looks very similar, but if you look at it closely, you'll notice that it is a little bit smaller. It's definitely thinner around here, so it looks like it could possibly swap but it will not. The uh, Stargazer has its own nib size that does not fit on any of these other ones. You notice a trend here. This is the thing because Pilot makes all their own nibs, they can make them to whatever specifications they want, so they can make it a little bit smaller to fit whatever pen that they're trying to accommodate. This is kind of unique because they have the ability to do that. Next we go to the Pilot Sterling. So this is a Sterling silver pen with an inlaid nib, which obviously looks pretty unique does not easily swap with anything. Now it looks kind of similar to the E95S. You're like, wait, could that swap? No, it's a different design. You see the inlaid nib is very, um, it's bigger, it it's emulates the style, but it is not the same thing. Will not swap. Next, we have the one that you did mention already, which is the Pilot Vanishing Point. This is their 50th anniversary limited edition that I just wanted to brag and show you a little bit. This does have a nib unit that is swappable and they actually sell these nib units separately and you can swap them. The only one it can swap with aside from another vanishing point is the Decimo, which is actually called the vanishing point Decimo. Um, same nib unit in both of these pens as you can see here, aside from the gold coloring, the nib unit's exactly the same and you can swap them between the two pens. So that you actually can do which is kind of cool. Especially if you get like a stub nib and you can put it in whichever of the pens you want. Um, you can hear that construction going on, can't you? All right, so that's it for the gold nibs, which are all over the place. The steel nibs are a lot more straightforward. A lot more straightforward. And I'm gonna start off with the Odd Bird, the Parallel. So this one is a very different style of pen. It actually has two flat plates that make a basically a stub or italic nib, whatever you want to call it. Um, different design, does not fit anything else. Uh, it is its own thing. So there's that, the parallel. The rest of them will swap with each other. So the ones that you brought up here, like the Metropolitan. Here's a Pilot Metropolitan. I also have the Plumix, which is what you mentioned. Here's the Plumix. Of course, the Plumix comes with a, call it whatever, call it italic, calligraphy, whatever you want to say. It's the same nib that comes on the Prera that has the stub nib, as well as the Metropolitan with a stub nib. It's the same nib. The design, the pattern on it might be a little bit different, but it's the same nib. You can swap them pretty easily. It just pulls out. I've done this a bunch of times, so it might be a little tougher the first time you go to do it, um, but there you go. I just made myself a pilot stub, and I made a, I don't know why you would want a Plumix with a regular nib. I call this the squid pen. It just looks like a squid to me. Um, so those swap pretty easily. Um, but that's not all. On the steel nib front, you also have the Pilot Kakuno. The Kakuno has the cool little winky face on it, or smiley face, depending on which nib size you're getting. Also, exact same as the Metropolitan. So if you get a Kakuno, you could put a winky face on your Metropolitan, or on your Plumix for that matter. And that's not all. The Pilot Prera, also, same nib. So, ta-da, here's the Prera. You can swap that nib out, put a winky face on my Prera, put a non-winky face on my Kakuno. You can switch and swap all day long. They're friction fit, they're pretty easy to do. 
um, and that uh, because they're steel nibs and they're less expensive, the risk of causing any harm is a lot lower too. So I would say if you want to swap anything on the pilot front, the steel nibs are the way to go. The only one that you can't do it with is the parallel. Whew. Oh, almost forgot one. One more steel nib pen, the Varsity. This is the old style Varsity, but you get the idea. Uh, it's its own nib, does not swap with anything else. It's like integrated onto the pen, so I think you probably could get this off if you're bound and determined, but um, why would you? It's a $3 pen. So it's meant to be in place, doesn't swap with anything else here. Whew. Wow, okay, that was a lot. Glad I got to show you all of those, but now you have at least a little clearer picture of all the different nibs going on with Pilots. Hope that helps you out in your nib swapping ventures. Of course, I wanna leave you with a disclaimer again. If you are swapping your nibs, be careful. If you're not comfortable doing it, don't. Don't blame me, don't blame Pilot. Whenever you go into swapping nibs or doing anything like that, you are hacking your pen and you are essentially voiding warranty if you do anything to screw it up. So just be aware of that. That's what you're getting into. 